as we're continuing along here with the red slice, we will be looking today at the T distribution. Now, T distribution is very similar to the standard normal distribution, with a couple of exceptions. First of all, we have this uh, concept called the degrees of freedom that we have to look at. We have buttons on the Alex calculator here which allow us to do all of the functions with the t distribution. Here they are here. We have first of all the probability as well as the one that gets the t values. These work very very much like the z buttons except nicely enough both of these buttons work to the right hand side. So if you look carefully here when you roll across the button the shaded part will remind you of that. But remember both t buttons like the right hand side. Now I've prepared a set of notes here for you to uh, use for this as well. There are two pages of these and so the first page here deals with the situation for the P of T button and once again uh, let's just review what this button does. The P of T button tells you the area under the curve to the right of a given T score. Now keep in mind that you have to have that T score and you also have to have this thing called the degrees of freedom which they will give us in uh, all of the early problems. Later on we'll have to find that ourselves. The problems can be of three types. While the button likes going to the right hand side or likes the greater than sign and you can do that immediately. There are the other variants where they want the left hand side and then the area between two T scores. In which case we do treatments very similar to what we've done in the past. If you want the left hand side though, in this case you subtract from one and in the event of the slice you will have to take the rightmost value uh, or the leftmost value rather first and then subtract the rightmost value because of the fact that these buttons like giving the area under the curve to the right. So follow these notes very much uh, as you would with the Z distribution and I'll also at the same time just kind of quickly show you here the um, situation where you have the area but you want the unknown T score. Now for that of course you're going to use the T button and reminder this button tells you the unknown T score if you uh, tell it the area under the curve to the right of it. Again of course you will have to have this degree of freedom each time and then I was done before I summarized this. So uh, if you just simply want the uh, the unknown T score, but you know the area, you just do that. If you uh, want the area, or you want the T score, but you have the area to the left, you can embed that area down below here in the T score, like we did before. And also you can use that when you know the slice of area, but you want the uh, two unknown. Uh, T scores which are actually the same number with opposite signs. So we can use those, we'll do that as we do the problem, but go get those notes, print those out and you'll find those to be helpful. Let's go ahead and do the problem now that we need to work on. And notice here that the first time out uh, they are giving us the T score, they simply want the area under the curve to the right of it. Well as you recall the button likes that that's the side the button likes, so we simply go up here and hit your P of T button, put in your negative 1.23, and here's where you enter your degrees of freedom here. They're telling us that we have degrees of freedom or 2 here, so we simply put that in, and that's all there is to it. Our answer then needs to be rounded to three decimal places, so 0 0.828. And in the next situation, notice now that we have uh, the slice situation. Notice here that we know the area under the T curve. What we don't know are the uh, two values here. So what we will do is quickly go over here and refer to our notes on this. And we can see here that in this case we're dealing with the third situation. A quick shortcut here is to simply use this formula. So we're going to take 1 minus the area divided by 2 and we'll embed that right under the T button. So let's go over there and quickly handle that one. So we're going to hit the T button. We're going to uh, need to clear our calculator first. Hit the T button. Down below here we will embed by going 1 minus the area 
which is 0.95. Now be careful here that you highlight just that much of it so that when you divide that by 2 only the embedded part is divided by 2 so you have to be a little cautious there. Our degrees of freedom here in this one is 11 so we simply put that in and we have our answer. They want this rounded to three places so 2.201 so 2.201 Keep in mind, this is really two t-scores. One's positive and one's negative, but they're just asking for the positive one here. And let's check it. And we're good to go.